In this video, let's discuss an important thing. How to become a great developer, how to become a great programmer. And if you're someone who's trying to learn programming, how you can start, not the resources, not learn this, learn that, but in actuality, when you are actually learning from any particular resource, why are you the one who's not able to learn or build things? If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So you see, if you are someone like me 10 years ago, who's just getting started with programming, you have discovered your four first coding language or you have discovered your first use case with programming, you'll be excited to start, right? You will be excited to figure out whether that's, that is web development, whether that is something like C, C++ or Java, for example, you'll be excited to learn more about it. You go to YouTube, you type in Java tutorial, you pick up the first video, which might be a collection of videos that is a playlist, or it could be just a one long video and you start watching it. Slowly, everything is making sense to you. You know, just writing hello world makes sense, taking input, sending output to the terminal makes sense. And before you realize it, the tutorial is either over or you have switched off to another tab, right? That is a very common thing when someone is starting to learn something new it might be great it might be good for a while but eventually you might get distracted or you might just figure out that you're not learning exactly what you wanted to learn maybe you want to create complex backend apps with java but your all you're learning is just hello world right and std out std in and that's it that seemed like so much beginner and so much easier compared to what you want to learn now the first problem which people face when they are trying to become a great developer or trying to learn something is that they want to everything to happen really fast right so the first thing you have to realize is development in its nature programming in its nature takes a lot of time for us for humans to get create that you can get good very quick you can get good in a month or so but in order to become great you have to spend a lot of time and there is a reason for this the reason for this is programming is a lot about logic forming but it's also a lot about making yourself unstuck because a lot of times you will feel that you're working on something especially if you're working on new products you will feel that you're working on a problem which you have never seen before and when you're working on something like this you need to actually get your experience together and understand what exactly is the problem where you're stuck and you have to unstuck yourself you have to debug the solution yourself and I mean if you're stuck with a problem you obviously have to think more than the problem itself in order to come to a solution which debugs it so the crux of this first point is that you have to spend a lot of time to become a great developer you can't be a good developer you can't be a great developer immediately or overnight it will take a lot of time and a lot of efforts and that is okay the reason that is okay is because then you know that time is a barrier which if you cross then not everyone would be as good as you suddenly right you would not wake up one day to find that your job is replaced by someone who's a fresh grad it might be an anomaly anomaly people already always exist like someone might be super good at a very young age in coding but that's an anomaly right that's an outlier in most cases you can be secure that the knowledge you have acquired over time requires time for the most part there can't be any magic or something which just happens and everyone on the planet who wants to learn programming suddenly becomes good at it so that is also your advantage in a way the second thing i watch i want to cover is how you learn programming when i started programming back in 2013 2012 through youtube and blogs and all these mediums which are text and video based i consumed a lot of content i used to be a huge consumer of the new boston for example on youtube i used to download full playlists from youtube and watch them binge watch them in a go then watch them again i would go to mozilla docs and i would go to hundreds of other documentations read hundreds of books on programming and I would just try to consume a lot of content because the more I consume, the more I was able to retain. I'm someone who does not retain everything I learned, right? I need to learn over and over again. That is how I work. So I figured out that in order to, for me to learn something really well, I have to learn that over and over again. But with that being said, one of the important things which I did unconsciously while I was learning programming is two things. The first thing I was always building something, right? I was always trying out whatever I was learning into pet projects into mini projects if you go to just my facebook timeline for example and you go 10 years down the line eight years down the line you'll see me sharing very broken projects now when i see them very noob ui projects i've worked on chrome extensions i've worked on landing pages i've worked on mobile apps i've worked on a lot of freelance web development projects but 
The common thing between them is that I have been building and one of the things which this YouTube economy and video economy Udemy has completely destroyed is the important message that you need to build software in order to learn how to build software. It's a paradox in a way, but you have to build in order to learn. And in order to learn, you have to like keep on building small, small things over and over again. What has happened in today's time is if you go to Udemy and purchase a very cheap course for 10 bucks or any other amount, you feel like you would, you're just one step away from acquiring that knowledge. That's absolutely false. Like you're, you're way, way behind still in acquiring, let's say if you buy a Rust course, for example, on Udemy. Seems like, all you have to do now is just learn, go through that video course, right? Absolutely wrong. You have to go through that video course. You have to at every step, try to build whatever you're learning. You have to maybe maintain a portfolio of your projects. You have to maybe consult documentation for advanced concepts. You have to stitch together the pieces of how Rust, let's say, work as a backend language when you're creating a server. Why do you need to learn Rust in the first place? You have to understand the Linux operating system, how to compile Rust and everything, which that course might teach as well, but you have to do it hands-on that course will teach you a command which might be outdated by the time you're learning it or even if you see that you would not remember it the next day unless and until you're compiling those rust programs yourself you're downloading crates you're installing packages you're getting into the ecosystem so the most important thing once you purchase a course let's say a video course is to actually build things around that as well and i see that completely missing in today's time just to set the context right if you go to youtube and let's say you know just search for anything learn javascript or learn html and css and sort by views some video from free code camp or you know free code camp or any other the creator who has built content for them would appear and it would have millions of views right it will have 4 million 5 million 6 million views let's say if the video has 6 million views let's say the total number of unique users who watched it is 3 to 4 million right i personally don't feel that we have great front-end developers in the range of millions we probably would have great like i'm, I'm talking about awesome front-end developers in the whole world in the ranges of probably you know hundreds of thousands that's it and that reduces for javascript and more and more advanced languages but you still see that these videos have millions of views you know what that means that just means that the people who are watching these videos they're not anyway gonna get great developers by the videos themselves they have to do something else something more because if they would have then the number of developers would have skyrocketed by now free content is there yes it is available on YouTube cheap content is also available what is not available is the practice the things which you have to do on your own right because nobody can actually force you take your hand put it on keyboard and type some code you are the one who has to do it and if you're not doing it when you're following these video courses if you're not doing it while you're you know just learning something you're gonna be left behind and i assure you this programming one thing which i have learned in the last 10 years of coding is programming is something which you can only not the best way the only way to learn programming is to practice it's like maths you can learn maths from videos but you can't solve any problem which is outside of that particular video if you're not practicing right if you have done integration and differentiation for example in maths in classes 11 12 whatever school or country or college you are you are in you would realize that there are so many problems in maths mathematics which you cannot do if you have not practiced enough so programming is kind of the same thing it's just that i mean it's it's not as intuitive as it seems that programming is also like maths right with maths it's much more intuitive because it's like a hard subject in a way programming can be easy it can also be hard but great programmers know that programming is hard fundamentally it is all about thinking it's all about logical thinking it's all about unstucking yourself it's all about debugging stuff it's all about working with different code bases different environments profiling debugging seeing why things are breaking why things are not breaking sometimes as well it's all about that and that requires you to be super hands-on it cannot be taught it cannot be learned through videos alone or text alone my conclusion is if you want to become a great developer there are two things which you have to do you have to eat right that means what what you are consuming should be right the content your brain is consuming that is what i mean by when i say eat right consume the right content but even more important than that i mean you can consume the wrong content but as long as you are practicing you can consume low quality videos that's completely fine but as long as you are practicing you would eventually end up on the correct path right because once you start practicing what will happen is that you'll start exploring because you'll get stuck and once you get stuck you're gonna go to google you're gonna write some queries you're gonna visit some websites you're gonna read some code and 
they're gonna understand that oh maybe this is something which people don't use at all so that is why i say that even if you're doing the wrong things you will get auto corrected your path would get auto corrected if you're practicing if you're putting in the work just do that and the second thing is be patient because this will this is a long journey if you're someone who's let's say looking to get your finances back up in a week then programming is not for you you can't earn money from programming starting from zero in a week you're probably better off at some jobs which don't require such skill but if you give yourself enough time maybe a few months time get a basic job and then keep on learning keep on upgrading yourself within a few years like you can really really be someone who's like a really good developer a senior sort of developer who knows how to work through things but it's it's gonna be a long journey right trust me it's gonna be a long journey filled with a lot of downs not just ups and uh, yeah you just have to be comfortable with uh, learning anything and everything and be comfortable with frustrations and bugs and stuck a lot of times and feeling like there is no way to fix this problem but the next day somehow you would be able to do it and there would be moments like this a lot of times so yeah i mean as someone who has been coding for a very long time and who also runs a company now dedicated to helping people learn code one of the things which i feel is most important which is missing in today's time is people don't practice enough and we don't need theory developers we don't need people who can read books and then write some code codex is already doing that we need people who are experienced people who are actually seen bugs and actually seen problems and then unstuck themselves and their organizations that is the kind of person who can bring value to an organization and if you want to be that person if you want if you aim to be that good of a developer and all you have to do is start working start building and be patient if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you are missing out a lot on every events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching